Hi guys, um, this is the two loop RL circuit 2. Uh, this is a special request for um, my friend Rohan. So, I hope this is gonna help you, buddy. So, let's see. Um, we got a circuit that has battery, and we have resistors, and we have the inductor here. Okay. And they have a couple questions that we need to answer them. Okay, so the first question is um, the switch has been open for a long time at t equals zero. Okay. So at time equals zero, the switch is closed. What is I for? Okay, the magnitude of the current through the resistor, R4. So they want to know at time equals zero, they want to know I4. Okay, so at time equals zero, when they close it, okay, when they close this guy, it's going to be a circuit, okay, and this guy here, the inductor will act like an infinite um, resistant, resistance because the di over dt is going to be maximum so it's kinda like infinity so that's why there is no current going to be here going through the inductor so the only current will be going through the R1 and R3 and R4 okay so saying that so I4 will be equal to the voltage of the battery, we'll call this VB, divided by the sum, summation of the resistors. So R1, R3, R4. Okay, and then you'll get your answer here. Mine was um, 0 0.0456. My voltage was 12, R1 was 24, R2, this is just so you can compare um, my answers and your answers. Um, the R4 is 128, and the inductor is 246, two, and then the V is 12, yeah, we got this guy. Okay, so this is up here. So question number two is, what is I4 at infinity? Okay, so at infinity, they want to know what's I4, the current going through the resistor number four, through this guy. Okay, so... W with time, the inductor will start acting like um, like a wire. Okay, it doesn't like the change, the um, the fast change. It doesn't like it, so it induced a current that opposes it. That's why it's um, it's like um, a really big resistance. That's why at um, at t equal zero, this will be acting like really large um, resistor okay that's why we ignored R2 when we did these calculation here okay got it so at time equal infinity this will act like um, like there's nothing here it's only wire connecting so looking at this we'll do it's kind of going to be the same, but there's only a slight difference. So VB will be equal to R4, then R1. But now this guy, this one and this one will be, we're going to add them in um, parallel. So plus, you're going to do the parallel thing here. So which is um, R3, R2 or R3 plus R2 I think something like that but you need like to add them in parallel okay this is just like simple circuit 
Got it. Uh, my number for this, I got. What was that? Yeah, it's zero six nine eight ampere. Okay. So let's go to number three. Number three was saying, um, or is saying, um, what is I L infinity the magnet of the current through the inductor after the switch has been closed for a very long time. So they want to know the current um, through the the inductor um, when we close the switch for a long time. So we said when we close it for a long time, then the um, the inductor will be acting like like a wire, like there's nothing here. Okay. So in this case, um, the and since um, R2 and L is in series, that means the current that's going through R2 is the same that's going through the inductor. So it's like kind of the same as saying um, we need to find I2. Yeah. So we need to find I2. Um, yeah, let's go finding it. Okay, so I think this guy when we when it was close. Yeah. So let's let's find the voltage because the voltage in parallel is the same. So V equal I R. Okay. And R here is um three two which is the one we find here and then the i is the same as this guy okay so v voltage for um, 2 and 3 together is equal to point zero six nine eight times the summation in parallel don't forget in parallel with r32 okay and for this guy, I got um, for the voltage, I got one point three seven eight. Okay, this is volts. It's just like simple circuit, guys. So don't don't worry about it. Just if this gets you confused, like with the inductor, like every case, just draw draw it separately so you can like think more about it. Okay. Alright, so now we got the voltage for the whole thing, and the voltage is the same in parallel, so we can just say that um, V23 is equal to V2, and V2 is equal to um, I2, R2, okay? And we know that I2 is the same as IL, in this case, in this question, okay? So I2 will be equal to the V2 which is the same as V23 which is this guy 1.378 divided by R2 and R2 is 24 okay so for this guy I got 0 0.0574 okay I guess you want to ask me about number four this is it's not that tough but I hate those questions I hate all smart physics okay so number four um, after a very long time um, it is then open what is I3 to open the current through the re resistor R3 at time T open equal formula second after the switch was open okay the first thing to do is just put this equation equal a max e um, what was it? it was t divided by tau and the whole thing this is negative okay so from here we do what do we do? Yeah, we have I max. Right. So if we um it, it was open, right? 
then open yeah so when we open this guy here okay we only have like kind of like this circuit here okay so I max before we um before we close before we open actually is the same as this guy right this is the IMAX cool you with me so we got the IMAX and we need the time the time they gave us in the question in my case it was four uh, milliseconds okay so I just changed it um, four times 10 to the negative 3 and then the tau in this case we know tau um, uh, drawing fancy now so tau is equal to um, what was this guy it was L over R I think it was L over R. Yeah, it was L over R. Because when we put this guy, it's flipped. Okay, yeah, so tau is L over R. And R is the summation. So, let's go back to this guy again. So when we close this, when we open, when we open the switch, we're only left with this guy here. So, these two, um, R2 and R3, R N series, right? Can you see that? So these two with the inductor because we opened it so there's no current going through this way and the we can ignore the battery now. Okay. But the but the inductor is kind of charged. See and it doesn't like the change in current so it's going to induce current and the current will be going this way because the current was going this way. So it's going to keep inducing it so it can stay the same direction because it doesn't like the change. Okay. Um, yeah, so we just sum. So the tau will be equal to L. We have L. They gave, us, they gave it to us in the question. And the sigma R is just R2 plus R3 plus R3. Uh, this is in series, so it's just adding them. So I max, we got I max, which is 0 0.0574 e to the. Don't forget the negative. Negative. Um. Damn it. So it's R two plus R three divided by L. And then time the time. <laughs> time the time. Anyway, so yeah. This is mul this number multiplied by the e to the power of this whole nice numbers. It should be nice. Yeah, my answer for this guy was so IT was Point zero zero six three eight, and mine was negative. It's because the direction of it. They told us that the um, the I three is going down, but when we did everything, like I said, it was going this way. The current was going from the battery and going through the inductor, going down. Okay. So when we close this guy here, I mean, like we open the um, the switch. The current was like before from before was going down here, okay? And the inductor doesn't like the change again. Doesn't like the change in current. So it's gonna induce current that is the same as the um same as it was before, okay? So it's gonna keep going this way. This is how it's gonna go. Okay? So this is against this guy. So it's just like in the question, that's what they told us, that down is positive. So up means negative, that's all. Okay, so number five. Um, what is VL, VL max closed? So they want VL max closed. So 
so they want the voltage across the inductor when it's closed okay so when it's closed and for a long time the inductor will be acting like what oops you can't see that the inductor will be acting like what yeah like a wire like nothing is here like only a wire here okay so and these guys are in parallel is that is that, is that right I think, yeah. Yeah, it should be like this. So, this guy and this guy are in parallel. Okay. So, they should have the same voltage. Mm hmm. Yeah, they should have the same voltage. So yeah, VL max is going to be equal to, and the voltage of R3 is just simply, um, um, you know, I don't want to confuse you guys, sorry. So at the time we close it, like at time equals zero, because they're asking about the VL max here, right? They're asking about the voltage across the inductor max, okay? So they didn't, like, um, say a specific time. So I'm going to assume, or not assume, it is um, that the voltage across the inductor is max at equals zero, okay? Because when we close it, it's going to act, um, it's going to, it's gonna like um, act like high high resistance okay so this guy doesn't get any current at time equals zero so the voltage of this guy will be the same as this guy because they are in parallel okay got it I hope I didn't confuse you this shit is crazy alright so um, I, I, I1 times R, R3 okay this is what the voltage max. Okay, and we'll take the this I is the I from answer number one. Remember? Where we got from number one, this is the I for it. From answer number one. Cool. And for this one, let me just give you a number. It was five point oh six one six volts. All right, so number six is asking, what is VO max open? Open. Okay, so the VO max open is simply just um, this I, the I from number three, and then divided by the R2 plus R3. Okay, and I got for this guy, um, let me just give you the exact number. It was 7.7463 volts. Alright, I hope this helped, man. And good luck.